I was actually studying Jewish studies and art history at the same time at UW, and perhaps the largest lesson that I got was sort of an overall approach to studying Jewish history and ideas, which was much more about context. So really asking the questions of like, who wrote this text? For whom? Why? What was happening at the time that motivated the writing of the text? I think those seeing those ideas kind of come together at the same time were really meaningful for me. Um, my sense now as um, a graduate of the program and as just a general community member is that the program is really making a concerted effort to come out towards the community and to share resources and share ideas and for me to be able to have the time and the opportunity to be a small part in the conversations and in the programming that are designed both for the students but also for the larger community is really valuable for me you know as a person but also for me as a member of a community in different communities here in Seattle. It's very exciting to see the growth that has already taken shape uh, with Noam Pianko's leadership and bringing in someone like Devin to focus on the Sephardic studies. I mean, it's definitely feel the movement of the program and both in terms of on the campus, the number of courses that I get to see listed um, in the community, the number of people that fill a room for an event online in terms of the digital presence that the program is, has built and continues to build. So yeah, in short, it's definitely grown from my time on campus and I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Mm -hmm.